So this is a rift knot. It's used to join two ropes of the same type and dimension. Uh, you either get the two ends of the same rope or the ends of two ropes. Okay. Hold in your right hand and left hand. So and follow the sequence. Right. So right over left. And then now left over right. Okay. So what you should see is something that looks like two U's interlocking each other. Alright. So there we have it. Um, so rule of thumb, make sure the excess is about say four to six times longer than the diameter of the rope to have uh, to give you enough allowance for the rope to bite well. So remember, two ropes of the same type and dimension. The next knot is called the curve hitch. This is used to join uh, or to connect the end of one rope to uh, to to somewhere. Okay, meaning you you like to anchor the end of a rope to to a pole. Okay, um, the condition for this knot is that for for this hitch is that um, one end of the hitch must constantly be loaded. Okay, once both sides of the rope is not loaded, there's a tendency for the rope to get loosened. So this is how it looks like. So you have the end of a rope. Okay. So supposedly you have a, a pole where the two ends are unaccessible. So you have to tie the, the hitch over the pole. So put the rope over the pole one time then one more time okay so what you should see is something that, look, that looks like a cross all right and lastly get the same end and put it under the x okay or the cross so the end result will be two parallel lines with a bridge over it all right so there you go a cliff hitch sometimes you may forget the cliff hitch um, yeah and there's another easy knot which you may want to learn it's called the one round and two half hitches it is a very useful and very quick knot so how it works is that you have a pole okay or an end which you like to tie the rope to so get your rope Go one round, okay, there you have it, one round, and then you're going to tie your two half hitches. So imagine you do like a number four, this is one half hitch, okay, alright, and then you do another half hitch, and there you go. Okay, it's a one round and two half hitches. Another knot which uh, may be useful for you in the outdoors, uh, which is a knot that uh, climbers use often. This is called the uh, double figure of a knot. It is a very easy knot, very easy to tie and very easy to uh, untie. So here we go. You have the rope here. Um, well, imagine you're not going to tie over your body, but instead to just um, tie up some equipments. Alright, so you get the end. Half it. Okay. Alright. Then you just turn. Half it further. Turn twice. One, two, and loop it through back into the into the loop. You should get something that looks like a number eight. The knot looks, looks like a number eight. That's why it's called the double figure of a knot. So there you go. The more well dressed knot is, the easier 
it will be able to be untied all right and this is the loop which you can use to hook up something okay the last knot which i like to share with you is called the bowline or some people call it boolean so it serves the same function as the double figure of it knot uh, to some people it is easier to tie but i will leave that to you um, so in short you have the end of the rope measure some distance and make a loop okay all right this end is where you will be tied to somewhere all right and take catch the end of the rope again put the rope fit the rope through the loop go around the main rope i'll do that again go around the main rope and back into the same loop okay so this is what you're gonna get okay so you can see that this is the loop all right and this is the knot this is the rope that went from under the loop around the main rope and back into the loop and once you're done you just tighten it okay and there you have it all right a loop that you can use to hook up something